Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the area of this cell using the Simpson rule. I need to divide these measurements into six equal intervals. So we have two hundred and thirty five millimeters, two thirty five divided by six equal thirty nine. And the value of, uh, of the interval here, h equal, we had 235 millimeters times 40, this is the scale, equal 235 times 40, equal 9000. Four hundred divided by six equal one thousand five hundred and sixty seven millimeters and meters one two three one point five six seven meters. We need now these measurements here. So we've got one, 110 millimeters times 40 equal 4,400 millimeters or 4 meters on 4. The same here, 4.4 meters, here again, 
this one is 104, 104 times 40 equal 4,160 milliliters or 4.16 meters. This one is 86 85 85 times 40 equal 3400 millimeters or 3.4 meters This one thirty nine millimeters times forty one thousand five hundred and sixty millimeters one point five six meters. Now we need to label these measurements so we've got A times 1, B times 4, C times 2, D times 4, E times 2, F times 4, G one. These numbers are called multipliers and they are part of a formula. So now the formula so Simpson equal H over three. Time A plus B times four plus C times two plus D times four plus E times two plus F times four plus G. So now let's punch the number in. I've got a program in there called Simpson 6 okay. so A 4.4 B 4.4 C 4.4 D 4.4 E 4.16 F 3.4 and G 1.56 and H 1.567 enter and we got an area of 37.54 Samson thirty seven point five four square meters. Now 
we need to deduct from this these two triangles there, which are not part of a cell. And we need two more measurements. This one which is 20 times 40, which is 800 or not point meters. And this one here, which is 105, 105 times 40, equal 4. So this triangle here, 1.56 times 4.2 divided by 2 equal 3.28 square meters. And this one, 4.4 times 0.8 equal divided by 2 1.76 square meters. So our cell is 37.54 minus 1.76 minus 3.8 So our cell equal 37.54 minus 1.76 minus 3.28 equal 32.5 square meters. And this is it. In the next video, we are going to see a different formula, much simpler, and we're going to compare it to this one. Bye for now.